You're moving into a luxury segment with the Cadillac ELR, which is starting to compete with something like the Tesla Model S, right? In that segment. Yeah, I mean, there's a price range area up there that's high between the two cars. The, the Tesla is clearly higher than what we got with the ELR for Cadillac, but the you know, Cadillac is a coupe. It's a it's a sort of a rolling piece of sculpture, and there's a lot of handcrafted interior things in it. So it's a little bit different, and um, you know, it's an extended range vehicle here. So, I mean, this thing will run you know close to 400 miles between gasoline and electricity. So there's not a lot of range anxiety with it. So it's quite different. Are we getting close to a time when we won't need range extenders on? Well, I think, you know, um, sort of 200 miles sort of feels, I, I drive an electric car a lot. You know, I drive an ELR and a Volt. I, I, I've owned a Volt. And so you, you sort of feel like, well, you know, when do I sort of stop thinking about whether it's electric or gasoline? And, and I think 200 miles of electric range, if you have a car that only is electric, is sort of the, the place where you, you really don't have to worry about making it to work or, you know, I can take a small trip if I want. 200 miles is sort of the, you know, I, hey, I could use, I could be an electric car buyer. That's sort of what people talk about, I think. And why are these cars important for General Motors to do? I mean, you're a big company with a lot of cars to sell. They don't sell many. Well, you know, we, we sell more than we did. It's, it's not happening overnight, but it's very important because, again, the grams of CO2 and fuel economy thing that we have with these um, is going to be very challenging. So you're going to see electrification. The key is to provide value for that electrification and usability for the customer. That's what we're focused on.